We're back. You're watching Marvel Live in New York Comic Con 2015. I'm Ryan Panagos, a.k.a. Marvel's Agent M. I am Blake Garris, and we are joined by a good friend of Marvel, good friend of all of us, and I think the first Tony Award winner that we've had on the live show, right? Wow. Now. Well, yes, I feel very, very Let's privileged to be there. Thank you, you get, very much. So you were just hanging out with Whoopi Goldberg, Clark yeah. Gregg, and Chloe Bennett. Yeah, I'm kind of nerded out right now. <laughs> like, Whoopi I've met before, but like, look at Clark and look at Chloe and go, I watch you every day on TV. I like, kind of became like the nerd fan. Didn't Chloe, <laughs> Chloe was nerding out on you a little bit, A little too. bit, but she was like, she, she was like, I really want to see the show, and like, when someone that you see on TV every day says it about you, you're like, okay, that's that's kind of cool. That's I, that's awesome. I saw a picture. You and uh, the OG Ant Man were hanging out. He went to see you, right? <laughs> yeah. Michael Douglas. Yeah, that the was amazing. OG Ant Man. Yeah, to sit, to sit back and like look at Michael Douglas, and he's like, I don't know how you do what what you do. And I'm like, man, you you here with Catherine Zeta Jones? I don't know how you do what you do. What you do? It's amazing, bro. You talking about me? This you go home to her every night, and you got to do a Marvel movie. Don't talk about me. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, uh, so yeah, we've we've done some stuff before with you, but uh, you're a huge wrestling fan. Huge. I'm a huge wrestling fan. Uh, is Macho Man your favorite of all time? When I was a kid, Macho Man was my favorite of all time. I'm probably going to get hit in the head for this. I, I saw Macho Man come out in in uh, the, the big red cape with Elizabeth, and I have never in my whole entire life been a nickel and dime Hulkamaniac. I can't stand Hulk Hogan. I was in Oakland when he. I thought he should have lost. I just Every time he was up against somebody, I wanted him to lose. All my friends thought I was crazy. The Macho Man was my man. Yeah. I, and so when he became champion, I... I cried. It was just kind of sad. My father was like, "What's wrong with you?" I was like, "Macho Man won the championship. Don't you understand? <laughs> Hulkamania is over." Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> uh, but WrestleMania four, especially like yes. that night, was such an incredible. Like, from a performer standpoint, yeah, it's, I mean, it's incredible because the yes. stamina you need to do. What did I think? He did four matches. He that did, night. Uh, I think it, I think it was three, three. all together. Yeah. Um, and the the fun part was. At that time, this was before they were doing like so story based, backstage story based, uh, you know, pro pro product where it was all about being in the ring. And the whole story was about, you know, the, the rivalry between uh, the million dollar man and the macho man Randy Savage, and of course Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. But because they got, uh, because Hulk and Andre got counted out, it was just down to the, the workhorses, yeah. the wrestlers, not the giants, but the workhorses, you know. The, uh, the daredevils of the WWE instead of the Iron Mans and Hulks of the WWE. And it was kind of cool to watch yeah. them go at it. And then that last match, you know, to watch Macho Man, you know, hit the elbow. Yes, it was kind of tainted because Hogan helped, but, <laughs> you know, he won it again. Hogan's yeah. a dirty player, man. But, you know, I mean, people call Ric Flair the dirtiest player in the game. I say it's Hulk Hogan to me. Yeah. <laughs> Could you decide, like, what uh, Aladdin heroes would be Marvel heroes? Who do you compare? Oh, like, gosh. Gotcha. Um, I, would, I would honestly, um, I would probably compare Genie. Wow, who would I compare Genie to? I know definitely I would um, compare Aladdin to Spider-Man. Um, I would definitely um, compare uh, Jasmine to uh, probably, I know this is going to sound crazy to say, the Spider-Woman because she's kind of got a cool attitude about herself and like she's real self-assertive, so that would kind of be Jasmine. Uh, Jafar is Doctor Doom, period, <laughs> into discussion. Um, Iago is Toad, into discussion. Um, Genie, I don't know, you know, I'm trying to think of something who's just like of infinite power that's not a villain. <laughs> Impossible man. There you go. You know, yeah, actually, you know what? Impossible, really? man, because he's really silly, but he can pretty much do anything, and, you know, kind of doesn't really have a focus unless you do focus him. Right. It's kind of genie. So, yeah, yeah, and he's always sense. messing with things, but having yes, fun. but having a good time. time about yeah. it. Personally, I think it'd be cool if, you know, the Avengers wound up in Agrabah, went to a cave, and all of a sudden found Genie, and he just started messing up crap. It'd be kind of cool just to watch, you know, watch Thor be like, why, why, you know, you know. I'd be into that. I'd be into that. It'd be great. And you're, uh, you're, you're keeping up with the comics too. Anything you're, uh, you're excited about? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm excited about the whole. The what's funny is I'm, a, I'm a little late on my comic books because uh, my family is coming to town, and so I have all my comic books waiting to be read. So the last thing I, I finished was uh, Secret Wars. And uh, the new Secret Wars, of course, I don't want to give anybody a crazy thing. I'm still back in the 80s. I was 10 years old. Um, but the, la the, last, the last one I know I'm going to be really, they're going to hate me. But the last one I read was when, you know, Dr. Doom found out that, uh, that uh, sorry, uh, Mr. Fantastic was actually in the same area. And right as I was about to read the next one, my family came. And like every time I try to read, my wife's like, are you reading? No, no, I'm not reading. I would not. I'm paying attention to everybody here because I love you all. And I'm like... Waiting for you to leave, <laughs> and then I'll start reading again. Uh, but I'm, I'm loving it so far. 
We've got questions coming in a couple. Uh, Sophia asks, uh, what do you like most about performing on stage and any advice for people with stage fright? Um, you know what, I, I love the fact that I get to sing and dance and act for a living. I get to be a kid every night and it's just fun to be on stage and do it for, you know, a couple thousand people and make them smile and make them have a great time. Like if they've had a bad day, they come see the show, I make them laugh, they have a better day. As far as stage fright is concerned, stage fright is kind of like any fear. You kind of like have to uh, step up to it mm -hmm. and um, not be afraid of it. Be okay with the fear. If you know what you're doing, if, you, if you're well rehearsed, once you get on stage, everything will come out. I mean, because I have stage fright every time I, I step on stage. I have stage fright coming in. You know, because you guys got, you know, you got Marvel characters behind me. These are like superhuman people. And they come and talk to us. I'm like, really? Okay. So when you have stage fright, you just step up to it. And it, it, if you're prepared, you can move on from it. I think nice. that's a good uh, point to bring up the wheel now. Okay. Regarding stage fright. You said you play a game with us. Oh, gosh. I'm going to cheat <laughs> and spin it for you to wrestler or Marvel here. All right. Oh. This Let's will be see. Fun. So I made up all these. Gotcha. Uh, so I dug deep. Okay. Um, so pick a number between 1 and 30, and we'll go from there. 21. 21. Uh, you're going to get this one. Uh, Ox Baker. A wrestler. Yeah. Give me another. Okay. Pick another number. Uh, two. Two. Uh, oh, that's Abyss. <laughs> Wrestler, T and One last one. Trick Wait, question. Trick question. That is uh, true. That there's, there's, a Marvel, there's a Marvel character named Abyss. Yeah, yes, so yes, I, yes. I, I have a couple of those in here to, to screw right. with people. Uh, one more number. Um, 25. 25. Blackjack Mulligan. <laughs> Blackjack Mulligan, WWE wrestler, Hall of Famer, tag team champion, father of Barry Windham, and another tag team champion as well. This one, uh, <laughs> the last, uh, just this one here, Leather Boy. Leather Boy. Uh, the sad part is I kind of think that's an independent wrestler, but it's <laughs> probably a Marvel comic. It is a Marvel character. I, I, was, I was like, who Bravo. is this Leather Boy guy? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah you. he could probably be on the most. There's probably yeah. indie wrestlers. Touche. Yeah. I don't you. know how to compete with that. But uh, So you also... Uh, you sing on stage. I do. I, I sing all the time. I, I sing in places I shouldn't sing. My wife gets so upset with me. I sing in, I sing in, in the grocery stores and bug her. Like just the other day, I was in the grocery store and um, so right now I'm like really on like two different soundtracks. Hamilton on Broadway nice. and also uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack. And like the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack comes on and you're going, ah, you know, all that mess is great. But this, the minute that, you know, when I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. But those kind of things. You know, when that minute that comes on, I like lose my mind. I'm like sitting, walking in the grocery store. My wife's on the other side with ice cream. And I'm just singing the top of my lungs. Oh, baby, give me one more chance. Show me I love you. And she's like, would you please stop singing in the grocery store? So then I just, you know, I switched to, you know, freestyle rapping about stuff. You know, she, I see a subject and just start going. I can't help myself. What do you, you, you want? Can you freestyle uh, rap about uh, Ultron? Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Inspiration right here. Inspiration. Right. Inspiration. Inspiration. Got it. Uh. Uh, sitting at the New York Comic Con and you asked me to talk about the robot old Tron but is he really a robot or is he really an android it really doesn't matter cause I got both the game and the toy now if you want to talk about the history let me put it back cause it's really not a mystery everybody in the movie world thinks it was Tony Stark but actually that's not him from the start actually it was really the Pym the one and only man Ant-Man the brother who made him up and then I just want to say that I really thought he was on cause when I see the baddest it's always is old Tron cause who's really going to stop the Avengers only one old Tron's the man cause he's always having fun Fun in the way of killing people, which isn't really nice. But of course, the brother is just simply cold as ice. Because he has no heart, he's made of steel, but the man is old for that. But not really. Actually, he's real. He's actually made of antimanium. The same thing that Wolverine has in his body. Then when he gets up, you really want to have a killing party? Bring on the man. Bring on the dawn. Bring on the only one, the brother Ultron. What just Shut it down. Please, man. Please. Money Live is done. We're closing up shop. Yeah, Thanks, is, bro. Thank you. This is ridiculous. Yo, go see Aladdin. Please do. I'm going to say we have DMC on on Sunday. 
We're gonna show that, him this. Please show this PMC is gonna that. be a war. <laughs> you come back on Sunday. Yeah. We'll have a, a, a actually, you know what's funny? Um, I am free on Sunday, and I happen to have a ticket. How so uh, <laughs> that you know, four day ticket, cause you know, I, I'm the genie. So DMC, yeah, I'm down. Warm. Yo, yeah. DMC, I love you, bro. Trust me. You know, Hollis Queens. You know, mom's cooking chicken and collard, collard greens. But I'm down. I'm ready. <laughs> you a legend, but I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that's amazing. Um, he's so, gonna kill me. No, no. Apparently, I, I don't know now. <laughs> Uh, so, so you're uh, on Broadway now. Yes. Anything I am. else you'd like to uh, talk about before we go? You know what? No, I would just say that uh, come see Broadway, have fun, get good grades, read your comics. It's always. It's awful. a wonderful show. I saw it twice. It Thanks, gets guys. better the second time. What you're are you the on best. Twitter? Yes, I am on Twitter. What's your handle? I am uh, James. Uh, what, what James, am Michael Hart. James and Michael Hart on Twitter. Yes. Okay. And cool. J and Michael Hart on Instagram. Right on. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you, Charles. So coming up next.